we're all wrapped up with this L83 swap. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, we'll release this, well, I don't wanna do that. The truck originally came in just to have an L83 engine swap. Customer brought us the RideTech rear kit. We matched it with a RideTech front kit. Basically, we have new upper and lower control arms in the front. We've got a four link in the back with a pan hard bar, and we've got coilovers on all four corners. Just like everything that we do, we try to make everything as nice as we can. So even if somebody doesn't want to do a full build, we still try to go to the extra extent of, you know, you're gonna spend all this money under the hood. We want the under hood to, you know, engine compartment to look nice. So factory, these engines, I think do about 355 horsepower. Uh, this is a 5.3 out of a Silverado, 2018 Silverado. This still has the DOD cam in it, although all that stuff's been programmed out. But I would assume numbers are gonna be right around there. Maybe we got five or 10 horsepower over factory with the intake and the exhaust. And all in all, this is built to be faster, but not fast. Um, we didn't do any cam work, any head work, anything like that. So basically inside this engine's 100% stock. So the only power additives you're gonna have are intake, exhaust, and tuning which probably aren't gonna do much. These are already pretty efficient engines. We had to add the cable shifter to shift the 680 transmission. Of course, when we did the brakes, we also upgraded the brake booster and the master cylinder. Got a eight inch dual diaphragm booster on there that we were kind of worried about the engine not making up enough, making up enough vacuum, uh, but it actually works really well. We've got a bare remaster with a one inch bore master cylinder on it. It's still a heck of a lot more horsepower than a stock 350 or 305 or inline six would have had so thing scoots it's a lot of fun and it's way more fuel efficient and it's way more reliable than an old carb 350 or worse what this had from the factory was a tbi we put in a set of dakota digital hdx gauges uh, we just used the black face ones cool thing about these gauges is that with the bim module we can read the gear position indicator we can read tack we can read transmission temperature we can read so many things with just one little BIM module attached to these Dakota digital gauges. Customer also decided to add some bigger brakes, so we talked about a couple options. He went with the AZ Pro Performance Revelator kit front and rear. Um, it's cross-drilled and slotted rotor, 14-inch front and 13-inch rear, I believe. Dual piston floating caliper up front, a single piston floating caliper in the rear. Really nice budget-friendly brake kit that works really well. And then wheels and tires he had already when he brought us the truck. There are 20 inch American Racings. It's a 245 40 tire up front, 275 40 tire out back. The outside of the truck stayed completely stock as far as sheet metal goes. Obviously, the lowered stance and the 20 inch American Racing wheels, but everything else on the outside is factory. Old factory paint. I think we may shine it up for them before it goes home. But other than that, on the outside, it's just a clean old square body truck. the very first ones we've done a full series back to back no interruptions um, kind of walked you guys through the whole entire build process if you haven't seen the previous videos go back and watch them but this is what we ended up with super clean square body on the outside everything underneath brand new brand new suspension brand new wheels and tires brand new engine transmission brand new wiring brand new plumbing everything brand new just looks like a nice clean old square body on the outside and we're about to give this back to the customer and let them enjoy it. Catch you guys on the next one.